What's up guys? Welcome to Fuzzy Fitness. You can turn on the captions for subtitles. That's crazy conditioning from Quentin considering the fact that he is around 8 weeks out from Romania Pro. Glutes are already striated. Quentin took his time to put quality muscle on that big frame. Keep in mind he is a tall guy and the way he hits some of the shots he reminds of Cedric McMillan. We weren't able to see the best of Cedric and what he could have accomplished if he dedicated himself 100% to bodybuilding. But we might see the best from Quentin. The plan is simple. Earn the Olympia qualification for 2022 early in the season and get going with the offseason. Another young guy who plans to return to the stage with a much improved package than last year is the Brazilian Rafael Brundao. Back looks much better and denser now. Overall shape and flow is unparalleled and he is always conditioned. Rafael is taking easy and safe route of getting bigger and his biggest asset is the classic lines that he possesses. Romania Pro will be a great battle for the youngsters. Heartbroken but motivated, Lionel Bayeki is staying in shape. He got tremendous support from the bodybuilding fans from all around the world after news was out that he couldn't get into the US for the Arnold. When asked whether he will compete at Romania Pro, Lionel's stance is that he wants to. It will be great for him as he will have another 8 weeks to diet because his biggest critique has always been his conditioning. Haven't covered men's physique for quite some time so here it is. The 2 times champ Brandon is looking shredded with less than 3 weeks to go. In fact, he was peeled around 8 to 10 weeks mark as well. It's all about peaking for him at this point and his coach Neil Hill knows what he's doing. Highly possible that Brandon will win his third title this year. Andre trained by Hani Rambot is a guy we are looking forward to. He has been training with Hadi Chupan and that's extra boost to train harder than ever. Andre made top 5 at Olympia debut last year and beat some big names like Andre Ferguson. Back looks like anatomy chart. I'm sure Hani and Andre are shooting for the win in 2021. The last few weeks have been all silence from Josh Peterson when it comes to progress pictures but the bull is going to the Olympia at full speed ready to do some serious damage. Remember we will be seeing a version of George who had almost a full year to make maximum amount of improvements without worrying of competing and earning that Olympia qualification like previous year because he placed third that automatically qualified him for this year's Olympia. Sean and George have similar physiques. When you compare them to Derek and Keon who have the advantage of aesthetics and symmetry. So it's gonna be apples and oranges if all of them nail it 100% and up to the judges to decide who they prefer more. Time for some Arnold Classic updates. Will the 6 weeks taken by Max Charles to make more improvements in the legs help him crack top 3 at the Arnold? It's not very likely but let's appreciate him for a moment as he showed on stage at his best multiple times this year. The champ William Bonac is done with his last real workout and as always looking bigger and rounder. It has been a successful prep for William as he was struggling keeping his weight up back when he started his prep. Only a few days left to see what Nick Walker is made of. Offended quite a few veterans with his confidence or some would say cocky attitude after winning the New York Pro but it's time to deliver. 
when you have so much to say going into the show, there is no turning back. Hopefully, the hype is real. This picture is just a reminder of how good Justin can be when he's on. One of the best front double biceps in the business and the man is on a mission. Crag top 10 at the Olympia last year which was a big booster, intending to beat some big names at this year's Arnold. Ending the video with some classic physique updates. Brian Jones dropped another update just before heading into the biggest show of his career, quoting biggest because if he wins here, judges will love to compare him with Chris Bumstead more and more. Leg separation isn't the best out there, but the rest of the package looks pretty damn good. Classic is ready for this kind of size and Robert Thames is gonna bring it. Great work done by his coach post Texas Pro victory, feeding him a lot more on the days where he needs more work, especially leg days. Robert himself said he needs more quad sweep to challenge Seabum. Showtime coming soon. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thank you.